Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use 3D printer parts to modify the Cinemizer HD goggles into an FPV goggles. And I'm going to walk you through how to make the receiver for it as well. Alright, what I have here is the Cinemizer HD goggles which I couldn't afford when it was first released and I waited for a few years and now it's cheap enough. So anyways, let's get to work. First step is to apply this um, white lead off the sides like so and basically once you have get rid of um, this two then the next step is to remove this wire just this wire along the sides to this plug here and you just have to unplug it and pull it out get it out of the way and then the next step is um, just to shift this from the lid slightly upwards and once you have access to this hole you just use the tweezer to put the pin downwards and you'll see the pin protruding out from the side and then we can pull it out there you go and that allows me to remove one side and for the other side as well and here I have the goggles this is the Bolle Y6 pair of ski masks Basically, the video glasses, the Cinemizer is going to fit right into this set of ski mask. Here, I've removed the original plexi glass. This is a good quality anti fog glass, which is good for skiing. But anyways, we don't need it anymore. Right here you can see this black vinyl like substance basically these are 3d printed from PLA and we have a piece here and a second piece here and the third piece at the top to shield off any sunlight that's entering through the top here so what's gonna happen is this goggles will fit in right through the holes here and we have a sleek pair of FPV goggles since the Cinemizer goggles do not have a 5.8 GHz receiver for FPV I'm going to use this 5.8 GHz receiver watch to receive the analog video and also I'm going to install the Ishen Pro DVR to the goggles to record the FPV footage when I'm flying FPV over here I have the SMA plug. This is to allow me to hook up an external antenna instead of using the short antenna that comes along with this watch. And here I have a dip switch. Basically this is a three-way dip switch. Um, flipping the individual switches will allow me to power on and off the DVR as well as to set the modes of the DVR either for playback or for recording. In order to hook up the 5.8 GHz watch to the video goggles, I have to open up the watch. Before opening up the case, it's a good idea to remove the straps and get them out of the way. And then you will notice that there are no screws or clips for you to open up the case easily. It took me a while to figure out that the only way you could open up this case is to remove the glass panel first. Once you've done that, you will see the LCD. And you also notice that there are three holes which are partially blocked by the LCD so you gotta pop up pop up the LCD slightly to assess the holes where you could unscrew the three screws once you have removed these three screws the next step will be to pop up the top layer And then you will be able to see there's a ribbon that's uh, holding the LCD to the main board. So you have to undo this ribbon by releasing the catch that's holding it. And here we go, we have the LCD separated from the main board. And now we have access to the pins and we will need to solder wires to the correct pins in order to tap the video out of this receiver 
to our HD goggles as well as to the Asian Pro DVR for recording the live video. Alright, here's a case that I came up with using a 3D printer. And this is how it looks like when assembled. In this shot, you could see the yellow, black and white wires connected to the video, audio and ground of the video receiver. And that allows me to have video output and audio output to the DVR for recording. I do need to splice the yellow wire so that the video output will go to the video goggles. I've replaced the antenna with this SMA plug. With the closed circuit, the DVR will power up. And I will have a separate switch to power on and off the DVR. At this stage, all the wires are done up and I have a jack here for plugging into the AV in of the Cinemizer goggles. From this jack here, we have the green, gold and red wires. The green goes to the video, which is yellow. The gold goes to the black, which is ground. And the red goes to the white, which is audio. Both the audio and ground here get connected to the DVR. It's to allow the DVR to send the audio signal directly to the jack. As for the video, there's a switch here which will determine the source of the video signal. So I could either have um, the video coming in from the DVR playback or the video coming in from the receiver itself. The yellow wire here from the receiver gets spliced at this juncture and that allows the signal to go to the DVR for recording and to the video goggles. Lastly, for the red wire here is to power on and off the DVR, which I have mentioned before. So that's all the wirings in a nutshell. Time to put everything together. All right, here's how it looks like. It's a clip for attaching to the headband of the video goggles mod. And easy access to the switches, the SD card, to charge and the SMA for connecting the crosshair antenna and the channels are visible now in order to show you how it works I have the clips connected to the output jet this jet will plug into the cinemizer but here I have these clips tapping video to the television and I have a drone sitting right there which is transmitting live video now let's power on this thing. Yep, and as you can see it's working. Display is shown here and to the TV. Now what happens if we change the video source? I turn off the video source here. Now there's no video and I toggle to the output from the DVR. Okay, now the source from the DVR is turned on, but the DVR is not turned on yet, so I'm going to turn on the DVR. Right, now the DVR is powered on. Yep, takes a while, but now we can see the playback video output from the DVR. You can see the record sign here. So everything is working perfectly. Alright, here's the other 3D printer part to house the battery, which is also the control unit. And I've shortened the leads so that I do not have a bunch of wires, which is too heavy to carry on the head. As usual, there's a clip at the back, similar to the transmitter. So everything is clipped on to the headband. And here, I have the HDMI portion, which I could lock it to that unit if I need to use HDMI. Otherwise with AV, it will be just this unit, velcro on to the housing and basically you can see I've used black sugru to prevent any stress to the components here and the ribbon, likewise for the other side. Some hot glue inside 
for additional security and Sugu near the no space if you're wondering what Sugu is this is Sugu it is a moldable kind of clay and when it kills it becomes rubber Alright, the mod is completed for the Cinemizer HD goggles and this is how it looks like there you have it a very portable FPV HD goggles that's all I have, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video